everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe Seabee. Happy Wednesday, guys. And Wednesday is part of our creative writing class that we like to call ghostwriting. What is ghostwriting? Ghostwriting is when we take a popular song that's on Billboard or a popular playlist on YouTube or Spotify or any of the music um, platforms. And what we do as songwriters... Um, it's, which is a good practice, is we take the chorus only of a song of our choosing and we replace all the lyrics in the chorus with our own original lyrics. Um, sort of like a parody. You guys know what a parody is. Like when Weird Al Yankovic did um, Eat It from Michael Jackson's Beat It. You, you know, you change the words to be funny. Only here, we're not changing them to be funny. We're changing them to be creative. We want to write as good a lyric that's already there. You know, that's the goal. You know, I'm never saying that that's the accomplishment. We never, you know, but we're always striving to write. And, um, you know, why do we do this? Well, it's a really great exercise. It's really good for your chops. It's to, you know, always test yourself against great writing. You know, the, these songs that we, you know, copy from are great songs. They're, you know... Millions and millions of views and hits. So like, you know, and, you know, <clears throat> writing teams at these labels, some of the best writers in the business all getting together and writing a, a song together. Seven, eight people sometimes. So it's a really great exercise for you to try to flex your creativity and uh, write a good chorus, you know, or try to write as good a chorus as, you know, they come up with. Um, and... Uh, you know, the other thing, the other reason why I like to do this too is, and I say this every week and I'm going to keep continue, um, is what I like to call the, a first verse curse. Now, when I write songs, like I say, I always put all my best stuff into the, my first verse, my pre-chorus and my first chorus, right? Chorus is always the same, but you always throw all your best stuff in a new song in your first verse, your pre-chorus and chorus. What do you say on your second verse, right? For me, it's always been kind of a problem. Like I I always go, man, I put all my best stuff in the first verse. What am I going to say now? So um, this is just an exercise to, you know, um, just keep your chops in shape. Keep your mind moving. Keep the blood moving in your brain. and uh, And just keep testing yourself. It's always good to test yourself and especially test yourself against the best songwriters around, you know, who write these songs. Um, what better way than to learn from those people who write these songs, right? So, um, you know, I really enjoy doing this. Um, it's a fun exercise and uh, and it's, it's not easy. It's hard work. Um, this took me, the song I picked, which I'll tell you in a minute, um, it took me hours to come up with this chorus, you know, like to come up with a chorus that I thought was good. And, um, and the song I picked, I didn't even know before really until today. I heard it yesterday once, but I, I didn't, I haven't really, I didn't study the melody until I was, you know, forced to sit down and really like learn it and then sing it back and then write my own words for it. And, uh, you know, and, I'm really proud. A lot of you guys are really starting to send me a lot of submissions for this class, for this particular creative writing class, ghostwriting. And you guys are really doing a good job. Let me tell you, I'm really proud of everybody who's contributed and sent me lyrics. Um, you're phenomenal. And, you know, I want you guys to remember, you don't have to participate in this if you don't want to. But and you're not being graded for this or, you know, it doesn't go again. You know, like there's no, and, and again, there's no wrong way to do this. The only stipulation in this is it's got to rhyme and it's got to tell some sort of a story. Okay. And I don't want you to rhyme just to rhyme. Like, you know, my heart is blue. I bought some glue. You know, um, I, that, that doesn't make any sense. It's got to tell a story. It's got to rhyme, but it's got to make sense in a story sense, you know? You got to tell a story. So anyway, um, the song that I picked tonight is a song by Justin Bieber called Hold On. 
And um, I thought the chorus was really cool. And uh, it's very, you know, it's very free. It moves very freely. And uh, and so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you this chorus so you can hear it. And then when I come back, I'll show you what I wrote to it. Okay, so here, it, without further ado, here is Justin Bieber's Hold On lyrics. So watch your screen. I need you to hold. Right, so that is that's uh, hold on. That's the that's the original version. That's uh, Justin Bieber's version. So one of the things, and I tell you guys this every week, also, but I want you to remember this. Keep this in your mind. Um, you know, if if what I want you guys to do is, I want you to write down all the lyrics. So listen to the song. I want you to write down Justin Bieber's lyrics. Okay, so I'm going to show you. See, here's what I did. I need you to hold on. Okay. That's his lyrics. See? And then it says mine here. Right? All I want. All I want is your love. That's what I wrote. I need you to hold on. All I want is your love. See? And then his. And then the lyrics are there. And then mine. My lyrics are here. And then this one, you see? So it's all, you know, line for line. And that way you can see how many words, and you put yours right underneath each one so you can see it. Do you see that? Okay. That's That should give you an idea. And that way, if like he has like a one-syllable word, you could write a one-syllable word. If he has a three-syllable word, Try writing a three-syllable word. But if not, if you can fit three one-syllable words in the same cadence, then that's fine, too. You know, that's that's fine. As long as you start when he starts and stops exactly when he stops. That's the only rule, okay? So I'm going to read you his lyrics, right? I need you to hold on. Heaven is a place not too far away. We all know I should be the one to say. Um, we all make mistakes. Take my hand and hold on. Tell me everything that you need to say. Because I know it. Because I know how it feels to be someone. How it feels to be someone. So that's his lyrics, okay? Um, so I'm going to read you my lyrics now. So here's my lyrics. All I want is your love. Begging on my knees, I want you to stay. When I'm with you, it feels so right this way. I want you to stay. This could be forever. You just say the word and we start today. I want to be the one that makes you smile. The one that makes you smile every day. So that's my lyrics. So you saw his lyrics and then these are my lyrics. So um, I think I got his one lyric wrong a little bit. Um, let me just look at it. Yeah, because I know how it feels to be someone, feels to be someone who loses their way. That's the last line of his. And then mine is, I want to be the one that makes you smile, the one that makes you smile every day. And his was, because I know how it feels to be someone, feels to be someone who loses their way. So, and like I said, this is not an easy exercise. 
This is an exercise where I want you, you know, I really want you guys to go in a room by yourself, close the door. Don't be on your phone. I want you to get on your computer and study these words. Write them down. Write the words down. Leave a space underneath the first line of Justin Bieber's words and then write your words underneath and then write the next line and then write your new line under, under there until you match it up and then try singing it. Try singing it too. Make sure, you know, say the words out, you know, like, you know, even if you can't sing it in key, just mouth it in the cadence, you know, rap it, you know, in the same cadence that he does. If you can't sing, just try to rap it or something, you know? So guys, that is all the time that we have uh, for tonight. I can't wait to see what you guys write to this. So now, wait, before I stop, I want to play you the whole thing now. So I, I found a karaoke version of that song. So here we go. All I want is your This could be forever You just say the words and we start today I wanna be the one that makes you smile The one that makes you smile every day And that's the whole thing, you guys. That's the whole ghost chorus for that. All right, guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe C.B. signing off. Have a lovely evening. I love you guys. Miss you. Be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.